equinox, solstice, and season. Earth rotation refers to the spinning of our planet on its axis. Earth's axis of rotation is tilted 23.44 degrees with respect to the plane of Earth's orbit around the Sun. As Earth orbits the Sun, it completes one rotation every 23.9 hours. The planet's rotation is responsible for the daily cycles of day and night. At any given time, one half of the Earth is in sunlight, while the other half is in darkness. The edge dividing the daylight from night is called the circle of illumination. The direction of the rotation varies with the viewer's position. From the North Pole, the rotation moves in a counterclockwise fashion. Looking down at the South Pole, the rotation is clockwise. The orbit of our planet around the Sun is called an Earth revolution. It takes 365.25 days to complete one trip or revolution around the Sun. The Earth's orbit around the Sun is not a perfect circle, but rather an oval or ellipse. However, with an eccentricity of just 0.0167, the difference from circularity is very minimal. On January 3rd, perihelion, the Earth is closest to the Sun, 147.1 million kilometers. It is farthest from the Sun on July 4th, or aphelion, 152.1 million kilometers. Earth rotates on its axis as it orbits the Sun but the axis always points in the same direction. Earth's axis is tilted. This tilt causes the yearly cycle of seasons. March. The Sun shines equally on the northern and southern hemisphere. Spring north of the equator. Fall south of the equator. June. The sun shines directly on the northern hemisphere and indirectly on the southern hemisphere. The northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, while the southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. Summer north of the equator. Winter south of the equator. September. The sun shines equally on the northern and southern hemisphere. Fall north of the equator. Spring south of the equator. December. The sun shines indirectly on the northern hemisphere and directly on the southern hemisphere. The northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, while the southern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. Winter north of the equator. Summer south of the equator. Annual change in the position of the Earth in its revolution around the Sun. The Earth from a position in space that is above the North Pole, green dot. The position of the North Pole on the Earth's surface does not change, however, its position relative to the Sun does change and this shift is responsible for the seasons. The red circle on each of the Earths represents the Arctic Circle. In June, the North Pole axis is tilted toward the Sun. In December, it is tilted away from the Sun. During March and September the axis is not tilted toward or away from the Sun. An elliptical orbit causes the Earth's distance from the Sun to vary over a year, however, this phenomenon is not responsible for the seasons. Earth's distance from the Sun doesn't change enough to cause seasonal differences. 
This variation in the distance from the Sun causes the amount of solar radiation received by our planet to vary annually by about 6%. Instead, our seasons change because Earth tilts on its axis, and the angle of tilt causes the northern and southern hemispheres to trade places throughout the year in receiving the sun's light and warmth most directly. The word equinox is derived from two Latin words, equus, equal, and nox, night. Equinox happens when the Earth's axis is tilted neither toward nor away from the sun, resulting in a nearly equal amount of daylight and darkness at all latitudes. It only happens twice a year in March and September. At the equator, the sun is directly overhead at noon on these two equinoxes. In the northern hemisphere, the March equinox is called the vernal or spring equinox while the September equinox is called the autumnal or fall equinox. In the southern hemisphere, the reverse is true. During the equinoxes, the axis of the Earth is not tilted toward or away from the Sun and the circle of illumination cuts through the poles. The vantage point shows that the Earth's axis is inclined 23.4 degrees toward the viewer for both dates. The red circles shown are the Arctic Circle. The word solstice is derived from the Latin sol, sun, and cistier, to stand still, because at the solstices, the sun's declination appears to stand still, that is, the seasonal movement of the sun's daily path, as seen from Earth, pauses at a northern or southern limit before reversing direction. The June or summer solstice occurs when Earth's tilt toward the sun is at a maximum and the sun is directly over the Tropic of Cancer. During the summer solstice, the sun is at its highest point in the sky and marks the longest day of the year. Also, all places above the Arctic Circle experience 24 hours of sunlight, while locations below the Antarctic Circle are in darkness. The December or winter solstice occurs when Earth's tilt away from the sun is at a maximum and the sun is directly over the Tropic of Capricorn. During this solstice, the sun is at its lowest point in the sky and marks the shortest day of the year. Also, all places above the Arctic Circle experience 24 hours of darkness, while locations below the Antarctic Circle are in daylight. Position of the equinoxes, solstices, aphelion, and perihelion relative to the Earth's orbit around the sun. Perihelion, January 3. March Equinox, March 20th or 21. June Solstice, June 21st or 22. Aphelion, July 4. September Equinox, September 22nd or 23. December Solstice, December 21st or 22. The equinoxes and solstices are 90 degrees apart in the ecliptic plane. Astronomical seasons are based on the position of the Earth in relation to the Sun. The Earth's annual trip around the Sun forms the basis for the astronomical calendar in which seasons are defined by two solstices and two equinoxes. Spring North, Autumn South. Summer North, Winter South. Autumn North, Spring South. Winter North, Summer South. Meteorological seasons are based on the annual temperature cycle. Meteorological seasons are broken down into groupings of three months in our civil calendar based on the annual temperature cycle. Spring North, Autumn South. Summer North, Winter South. Autumn North, Spring South. Winter North, Summer South. <laughs>